more and more organizations are starting to talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is now commonly referred to as DEI. It's certainly top of mind with a lot of my peers, so other business owners, C-suite executives, as well as HR team members, which is great because this is an important and timely conversation to have given everything that's been happening and also just because of uh, the nature of where we've moved as a, as a society. However, it should not just end there, right? Another water cooler conversation or something that you just talk about at a happy hour at a networking event. We need to go beyond the conversation by taking action and implementing programs that not only embrace our diversity as a you know, mankind, but also provide equitable opportunities and benefits to team members within your organization and they're inclusive in nature. In my conversations uh, with my peers, i.e. other business owners, C-suite executives, I've realized that many organizations are still looking for ways to improve their DEI efforts within the workplace. So in this video, I wanted to share a few ways that you can implement to help improve your DEI efforts within your organization. But before I dive into it, let me just say welcome back to those of you who've been to this channel before. And I also just wanted to say hello to those of you who don't know me. My name is Kuda Biza and I am a serial entrepreneur. I started my first business when I was nine years old in Harare, Zimbabwe. And then I came to America with only $40 in my pocket. And after college, I went to a Fortune 500 company and spent over a decade in various leadership roles within that organization. And today, I run a couple of seven-figure businesses. Now, what's you know been exciting about that journey is that I've been able to learn a lot about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I am now implementing some of those things within my organization and going around the world and around you know the United States talking about DEI. So now that you have a little bit of background about who I am, let's dive into uh, today's topic. So like I said earlier, in this video, I wanna be talking about ways you can improve your DEI efforts within uh, your workplace. And the first way uh, to do that, I believe, is through education. I think educating the entire organization about the subject is super important. You can hold workshop, um, you can bring in DEI speakers like myself. You can invest in online courses that everyone within your organization can take. Educating your organization will help everyone get on the same page, but more importantly, it shows your employees that this is an important topic to you, right? Because of the efforts and the lens that you're going investing in this. Also make sure that you know this DEI education is part of the onboarding process as you hire new team members so that as new people come within to your organization, they learn from the get-go that DEI is something that you take seriously and they also then really understand uh, how to operate within your organization with regards to that. Um, the second way to improve DEI efforts uh, within your organization is to really look into your hiring process, right? I was talking about onboarding new employees a, a couple of minutes ago. Um, so you want to make sure that as you are building your hiring process, you have a fair hiring process, right? You want to ensure that you're recruiting qualified candidates from underrepresented groups, right? Because as you do this, you, you just bring in people who will help improve diversity within your organization. Um, another way you could make sure that you improve your DEI efforts within the recruiting and, and hiring process is utilizing structured interviews, right? And this basically means that each um, candidate is asked the same questions. So you can really compare apples to apples as you're vetting through candidates and make sure that, you know, you arrive at a more objective hiring decision. So so that's number two. The third way that you can improve uh, DEI efforts within your workplace is to really look into how team members are being promoted within your organization. Uh, an interesting stat uh, by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission said that when it comes to managers and senior roles within the private sector, 
86% are white and 70% are men. So as you can see, there's a you know clear imbalance there in terms of how you know these senior management roles are distributed within the workplace. So you want to make sure that as you're promoting team members within your organization, you're sprinkling some flavor within uh, those roles that are you know diverse, and you're you're making sure that it's equitable and um, it's it's inclusive. So. Obviously, you just don't want to promote someone just because of their diversity. You want to make sure that that person is qualified to do the job. But better yet, you want to have programs in place where you can mentor and train team members so that they can become, you know, ideal candidates uh, for the promotion when that time when that time comes. So what that does is that it helps uh complement your recruiting process where if you implement a recruiting process that follows really good robust dei efforts and then have a promotion system where you're also making sure that you're promoting people um you know with kind of like a dei lens it will just improve your overall uh dei efforts within your organization now a fourth way to improve dei within the workplace is really paying attention to pay equity. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, the wage gap is real. Like people are talking about it, you know, as if it's a myth or it doesn't really happen, but it is real. Uh, unfair compensation practices have existed for far too long and it's time to take action. You know, I read a stat that said that women earn 18% less than men. And this is, you know, 2022, right? You know. If you're a corporate leader and your organization is not abiding to, you know, fair compensation practices, this is something that you need to make sure is addressed immediately. Because number one, it is the right thing to do, right? We want to make sure that everybody is paid, you know, on a on an equal basis. If they have the same qualifications, the same experience, they're, and they're doing the same job, um, and also number two, wage discrimination. Is illegal in the United States as well as other countries throughout the world as well in fact the United States Equal Opportunity Employment Commission uh, has mandated you know organizations to pay over 20 million in mandatory reliefs to victims of uh, pay discrimination in 2019 alone so it's happening and um, this is one area that if you really pay attention to and if you follow uh, pay, you know, equity practices, you will not just improve DEI efforts within your workplace, but it can help you stay in compliance within the law. Because like I said, uh, in America, it's illegal for, for you to have, uh, you know, uh, pay, pay payments that, that are, you know, not fair and equitable just based on gender. So also, you know, while you're at it, you want to make sure that you also revisit your employee benefits, right? You'll be surprised that there are small details that can make a huge difference uh, to your employees, especially if you're trying to improve your DEI efforts. And, you know, in one of my companies, we, we have a global workforce with people working for us, you know, in different countries from different religions. And we realized that our holiday schedule was rather restrictive because it was following more of like a Christian holiday schedule. So we decided to implement a floating holiday schedule so that our team members from other countries and other religion could take time off during the days they felt were the most important to them. So it was a small detail, like I said, but it made a huge difference to our team members and it really just improved, um, you know, the the employee retention as well as even when we're recruiting and hiring people and 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 and, and we told them about um you know this floating flexible holiday schedule a lot of people really liked it because um you know if you're jewish if you're christian muslim you know whatever it is you then realize that hey we, we think about you we care about you and we just want to make sure that you know for the days that you feel are important you take the time off that you need and uh, do whatever you need to do. Now, the next way that you can improve uh, your DEI efforts within the workplace is by setting goals and uh, key performance indicators, right? KPIs. 
uh, for your efforts within the organization. Remember, what gets measured gets managed. So by setting goals and KPIs, not only do you get to have the ability to hold people accountable, but also it'll help you see the progress or lack thereof uh, in your DEI efforts. Uh, for example, you can set a goal uh, on maybe representation, right? So you can compare the representation of people uh, from underrepresented groups, you know, within your organization to the market demographics, right? So that you can really understand, are you under indexing, over indexing? And then if you're under indexing, you know, then just use the benchmark as that goal to say like, hey, you know, we're only employing, you know, X percent of Hispanics or people of color when the actual, you know, population, you know, shows that it's, it's Y percent and we just want to be a reflection of the population. Uh, so that's one way where you can really just set a goal and make sure that in your, you know, recruiting processes, you really then just shift uh, the dynamic and, and, and really be reflective uh, to the country. You can do the same when it comes to retention, promotions, and so forth and so forth, but that will generally improve uh, your DEI efforts within your organization. And then the last way that I'm going to share that will really help improve DEI within the workplace is acting on, you know, team member feedback. I mean, as leaders, we need to make sure that we involve our team members in shaping the corporate culture because at the end of the day, it's really for them. So listening to their feedback and more importantly, acting on the feedback will only, you know, help build uh, a very inclusive workplace where they feel that, you know, they are appreciated and that we're really taking into account uh, their thoughts and feedback. So you can collect team member feedback through surveys or even have the good old suggestion box. Um, it will just really just help you get that feedback loop where your team members can really just share with you some of the thoughts um, and, and some of the desires and the things that they want to see happen within the organization with regards to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And then you can then figure out a way to, to act on this feedback and, and implement it. So it's always a good idea uh, that when you receive um, a good suggestion, let your you know, team know how you plan on implementing it uh, so that they just, you know, have that insight that, you know, you're listening to their feedback, it's appreciated, and you really take them seriously. So that's something else that you should do, and it will definitely, definitely help improve your DEI effort within the workplace. So hopefully you find these tips very helpful, and if there's a way um, that I've missed that can help improve DEI efforts within the workplace, feel free to share some of those tips within the comments because I also want to learn how others are implementing and improving the DEI efforts within their organizations. And if there's something about DEI you'd like me to cover or go a little bit deeper on, feel free to also share in the comments and I'll be more than happy to create a video uh, addressing exactly that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you can implement these uh, tips that I've shared that will help you improve your diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts within your organization. Um, and uh, we can be more inclusive, more uh, welcoming, more diverse, and also provide equitable opportunities and benefits to employees within our organizations. Come on.